those dealers start right when you get out into the breezeway. So we have a bunch of folks that we don't always see here and they're just getting ready because we're early. We're about an hour before the show starts. Out in the breezeway between the building that we usually have open and the building that's open for this, we see a slap bench there at 245. Those are really cool. They used to be a lot cheaper, but people have caught on. Red Wing Bob White Pitcher is a neat shape. And then this thing, the Hassock fan that you sit upon, 125. That's a pretty reasonable price. These teardrop shaped candlesticks are Blanco. These have a 2020 mark, but they were originally made in the 60s, and you will find them from back then sometimes. So we're going in the back building because this is where a lot of the dealers who only come to this show once a year are located, including my friend Oliver from Montreal. It's great to see him back. We haven't seen him since before the pandemic, and as you can see, he gets really expensive high-end fashion. He gets factices. He gets, well, you see the labels we're talking here. His stuff is expensive and fun, and he's got great style, and it's very colorful. This big meat tray is an 1860 Staffordshire piece from England. It's got the tree in it, and so it's got a well for the juices. It is the Etruscan pattern, and it has this interesting red-orange color because Imari China that was coming over from Japan at that time had those colors. And so that caught interest in Europe, and you saw a lot of this sort of red-orange. Signs, signs, everywhere a sign. And these are some really good ones, similar to mine, the war ones. They're hundreds of dollars. And I just have the good fortune to have a lot of interesting signs right now. I have more than I can spread out until I get set up a little bit. Some other art, listed artists. This is going to be the super quick run through. We've got World War I YMCA posters, signed baseballs, Remington bronze statue. We've got a little bit of Holt Howard and kitchenware. We've got Western. We've got modernism. We have a bunch of outsider art, including people from New York and from the Gulf Coast who are now famous, who were never thought of as someone who would be famous. So those are really fun to show. I've got some really great French bronzes, including clocks. I have the jewelry covered. That's the pink towel. And some things that viewers have asked for are being put aside. But I have a different looking space than usual. I have beautiful European porcelains. I've got Frank art. But it's definitely a different mix for me. I do have more jewelry to put out. But this little Italian Bombay chest is very cute. These are all really nice pieces. It's just a little different than people are used to seeing from me. They're used to seeing a little bit more of this than perhaps this. But that's okay, because I am a generalist dealer, and I love all sorts of different kinds of antiques and vintage, and that's what makes it interesting to me. So I am excited to be selling French clocks and pieces of Dresden and Meissen and other fine European porcelains, along with my usual things like Bakelite jewelry and fun 70s pins. These posters are really neat over here. These are First World War for the YMCA. 1918 war work campaign workers lend your strength to the red triangle help the fighters fight the front actually ended up being the last part of the booth that i did i had to just sort of pile boxes and cover them to extend my display space but i think it actually came out all right because i have this really neat piece here 1980s deco revival airplane lamp that a lovely viewer supplied to me and these pieces here, the great eyeball lamps, and this is the first time they've been up at eye level where you can see the great color of the bulb, so I'm hoping that will sell them. Signed baseballs, the Belgian bookends, and then I've got a bunch of little sort of little things people like to look through. Paper items, ephemera, they're kind of hidden on this shelf, but I thought it was all right because the fun of it is that people will be at the opening to the booth. It won't block the booth, but it will create interest and make it look like something's going on here, which really is an advantage. Some really fun paper ephemera I just got. I love little pussy, and on the back is... Ride a cock horse. Miss Sniff, the fuzzy cat, who has a somewhat well-petted front end, made of felt, and then the romance of rubber. Oh my. 
a whole lot of little ephemera that I need to integrate into the ephemera I've already got, but I'm just going to let people dig through it. I, this collection just came just like this in a box last week. My friend across the aisle does Beatles memorabilia, and so she'll probably want the help band-aid and the little John Lennon charm, I suspect. I did bring the Western. I actually sold some Western in Outdoor, and I have a feeling I might do so here as well. There are a lot of people from the West Coast starting to discover Florida. This is a really neat looking book. I like the lithograph, fun little buttons. It did a little bit of kitchen in here, along with just some general stuff because it was fun and it gives it height and presence and people can remember my booth because I have a purple flag. I did get a nice collection of Art Deco marble from France. Fairly contemporary, but wow, rather impressive high heels. A little toy section. A nice marble French inkwell set that I just got. What I have left in Disney, it sure is a lot less than I had in Springfield, Ohio when I got that collection, but I still have some cute pieces. And then we get into a little more art glass. The Austrian painted porcelain piece on the right is much older than it looks. I had some interest in the bronze. I did sell a bunch of Matisse and Renoir jewelry earlier. In fact, a regular customer of mine from Europe, who I have not seen since before the lockdowns, was here for the first time in three years. So that was wonderful. And it was great to see her. And I was happy that she still loved this stuff. And she said that Europe's had its ups and downs, but they are holding strong and business is okay. And I said, yeah, we are too. Frank Art Nude, that's a wonderful ashtray. And then these fantastic figurines. The white are particularly well-crafted. The wear would have been made in mice, and some is soft paste, some is harder paste, some is as far back as the 17th century. These are very well-painted birds with the mice and mark. A lot of these have Dresden marks, Dresden was near enough to where Meissen was made to have the blanks shipped there, and then the Dresden decorators decorated those wares, but Dresden did not actually produce these things. They were all, in fact, from the area of Meissen. And then lots of fun stuff down on the floor. I brought tons of art, tons of things. Well, you know, the Chippendales dancer is under there, and he needs a tip, so, you know, so far, they've only given him foreign coins that aren't worth anything anymore, but he's trying real hard. Camel matches, razor advertisement board. And then we've got a stack of games, including Mother's Helper and Grand Nationalist Sweepstakes Game of Chance. The Peter Pan game, Philadelphia game that has WC Fields on the front. That's kind of fun. And then the Runner's World Marathon. I'm not sure how a marathon becomes a game. That seems like serious work to me. Football, Chinese checkers, really nice beveled glass mirror from about 1940. That's a nice frame. Some fun advertising. They're just paper 1950s era advertisement pages, but look how much fun they're having. That guy wants Cupid or he wants that ice cream cone. He can't decide which. All neat wieners insist on the best. Yippee! They said yippee a lot in the 1950s, apparently over graham crackers as well. So another box of just ephemeral interesting things that just all came to me, including Peter Frampton, if you remember the 70s. You know you get in at 7.30 in the morning? So, a bunch of Roseville and other ceramics. And we're just having a lot of fun. I think the space looks good. It's different. It's interesting. And we are ready to go on my end pretty much.